Now to our coronavirus coverage. The state of Maryland announced 630 new coronavirus cases today. That brings the state to more than 107,000 positive tests since the pandemic began. Less than 400 people are in the hospital tonight with the virus, but 106 people are being treated in an intensive care unit. More than 3,600 people have died. Governor Hogan announced all public school systems could reopen for the fall. County leaders are now weighing in on the big announcement. It came just days before many districts are reopening with virtual learning. And WJZ is live. Stetson Miller has the latest from Montgomery County leader Stetson. Kelsey, like many districts, Montgomery County has been planning for months to start the school year virtually. So today, county leaders reacted to the governor's announcement and were critical of the decision. Every single county school system in the state of Maryland is now fully authorized to begin safely reopening. The academic school year for most Maryland students is set to begin in just two weeks. Governor Hogan announced it is safe to return to class in person. But many districts spent months planning to start schools online. Say that the governor's announcement caught them by surprise. You should be aware that local superintendents and local boards did not receive any advance notice about the details of today's announcement. Today, Montgomery County Executive Mark Elridge and County Council issued a statement about the decision saying they support their school district's plans and will continue to move forward with virtual learning. He went on to say we're dismayed and perplexed that Governor Hogan made this announcement just days before students return to school. FCPS has been proactive and deliberate in its approach in creating and maintaining a safe and healthy environment in our schools. There are 24 public school systems in Maryland, 16 have plans that include some form of in-person learning this fall. Eight, including Baltimore County and Harford County, plan to keep students learning online for the first semester. Baltimore City and Arundel County and Howard Counties are also sticking with virtual learning. The governor says he is pushing for districts to reconsider. We're not going to order them to go back and, and uh, open schools, but we're going to back, go back to, to them and strongly suggest that uh, since the numbers have dramatically improved, we're all saying you have the authority to now start to open. And County Executive Elridge also said that Montgomery County schools do have a blended model that will be implemented when the time is right. Reporting live for WJZ, I'm Stetson Miller.